Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. Today we're doing something very different. Uh, we're, uh, you know, a little bit short on news, so we thought we'd do something that's, uh, yeah, just uh, something completely different to what we normally do on the channel. Uh, Ryan's with me here as well, and uh, we're gonna be putting together a tier list. So yeah, how are you feeling about this, Ryan? Following trends, like yeah, right. Proper reacts. This is this is the way that YouTube's meant to be. Look, y you know what the YouTube tips are? Always get on the bandwagons and do the like, you know, the trendy stuff and the uh, yeah, all of that. So I guess we're doing that for the first time ever. Uh, is there a here you want to start with? Uh, you can pick one. I think we should just go down this weird order of list. It's not in like oh, alphabetical okay, order. Okay, okay, like, I'm pre Brigitte Junkra. I'm not quite sure what order oh, it's meant God. to be in, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, S is S tier is like the most toxic uh, player playing that hero, and F is like you know people playing these uh, he uh, this hero is us they're usually pretty cool and pretty chill, you know. Uh, so it's I'd like say Diva straight into an F. Just Diva straight into an players. F. Okay, okay. They're just I the mean... players that get on with it regardless. Some of them should maybe pick main tanks instead of Diva in a lot of cases, but. You know that they're gonna put a shift in when they play D.Va, and that's coming uh, from a D.Va player. Okay, I wanna Maybe put- D, I, I, I'm gonna put it on a D, right? I, if I'm gonna compromise, because I feel like a little bit more towards the not slightly more toxic side. All right, let, let's just go from the list, yeah? From top to bottom then. Uh, McCree, next mm -hmm. one. Uh, what do you think? Oh, it's such a, I, I tend to find when people pick McCree, they pick them either in a good situation, such as when you have a Farah, but I wouldn't say that they are the most toxic player, so I'd say an A or a B. Oh, really? Okay, I was gonna say like a C. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, we can Ooh. put him on a B if you think so, then we can move him I around. I think B. Okay, if, maybe we'll uh, downgrade McCree. <laughs> okay, Brigitte. Okay, this is a tough one, right? Because... Like, the, it's no secret that a lot of people really hate playing against the character. In my opinion, the people playing in Brigitte are, are a lot of time not that toxic themselves. No, not you know? at all. I'd say they, they fall on the sword, so to speak, when it comes to having to play a hero that's very meta in certain compositions and they know the backlash they're gonna get but they still put up with it and they just want their team to win yeah it's kind of like the lucio situation of they play it because they want to win not necessarily i'm gonna say a d yeah it's the most enjoyable yeah i okay, think okay, alongside okay. diva all right all right L let's go with some characters where i i think we're, we're gonna be a little bit polarizing yeah okay or mm -hmm. where i hope at least okay uh, i want to start with mercy all right what do you think i'd say it's quite high Right? I think so. Okay. Ah, shit! I, think... I just think we would agree on this. Yo, okay, Mercy players, right? They have great intent and are a lot of time nice, but it's so easy to get tilted on Mercy as well, right? <laughs> like, I feel like, at least. Because you don't re you're not required to do much, because it's just, whilst you're holding left click or right click, you have time to see and watch everybody else make mistakes. Yeah, you watch if the If you're world playing burn. another hero that requires a lot, oh, you don't damn. notice people making mistakes. I'm so. throwing her in the C tier, because, like, I'm almost B, honestly. Like, yeah, Ash. Ooh, that's an interesting one since we did McCree. Not enough people play Ash for people to be toxic on it, to be honest. I think, I, I, no, what, really? I think Ash is pretty high up, don't you think? What experiences have you had with toxic Ash players? Because Ash plays is like the same players that pick Widow a lot of time in many ranks and go, oh, I'm gonna carry this game with this sniper and just headshot everyone. I'm like ready to throw Ash into the A tier. I'm I'm inconclusive on Ash, but by by all means you can throw in A if okay, you want. I just all right. don't experience it half as much as maybe I want to. All right, what, what's a hair you want to go with next? You pick one next. Wrecking Ball. I, I feel like it's an indirect form of toxicity where <laughs> you want to play this hero, you want to get good at him, but to be honest, you're running in on your own and dying on your own. So uh, I feel like really? you as a player might not be toxic, but okay. you are, you know, rocking the boat, so to speak. So I think he's oh, like shit. McCree level B. McCree levels? What? <laughs> okay, shit. Okay, we're putting a hammer into the B tier. We might need a downgrade there too, in my opinion, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, all right. If he was a seven, if he was one of the seven sins, he would be pride. That's kind of how I feel with like Hammond <laughs> okay. currently. I mean, sure. We need to find somebody that's S tier. I think we need to pick a hero I mean, to really. Widow, right? Come on. Yep. All right. Come yeah, on. Put Widow. Yeah, S. we're just throwing her into the S tier right now. No discussion. I mean, even, probably Hanzo too. Even her like voice line for needing healing is pretty toxic. Heal me. Widow players tend to be pretty toxic. Hanzo players, okay, in the top toxicity. You know what? 
We're gonna throw a Hansu in there as well. Okay, sure. I love the fact that the top three are the snipers. I mean, right, but I feel like that's how it is, right? I, or I don't think the snipers are gonna disagree here either. I mean, we have Anna who's kind of a sniper, you know? I would say that, again, they're usually rushing around like headless hit chickens too much to be toxic. Again, it's one of those things where I think people are toxic to them if they're not very good, speaking from, like, personal experience. Okay, okay, so Anna, what what, what, what do you say? Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't think she's that i don't think anna i think c for, i think c for okay, c. anna okay we can agree a on that for one. zarya a for zarya really zarya is like a glorified dps player right oh, now shit. with like goats comp so a for zarya you know what i can actually agree with that they really want to play dps but they're stuck on this like you know middle ground oops we need to really speed this up because we're going super slow we have so many characters left <laughs> okay we've done what we've done okay we've done like 10 we need to do way more all right let's see uh let's go uh bastion what do you think i'd say like b at most i think picking yeah. bastion could annoy a lot of people but generally the people you know that... color bastion's a prime example of somebody that um is just incredibly chill when they play that people hero that so play bastion you know, when uh, he's supposed to be played, like, or like in good certain set of maps, tend to be really chill. We'll throw him into the C tier for now, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad we could agree on that. Bastion's in a pretty decent spot. Ooh, maybe something like Winston. What do you think? Because some Winston players can be pretty chill. I feel like maybe I'm in the middle of the scale, and then you have the extreme end with like XQC and such. Maybe leaning a bit more towards the toxic side yes. of Winston. Yes, I think main type players in general, because Wha they're leading Whoa. the charge when people aren't supporting them. Oh! <laughs> I think B, okay, at B most, is pretty I think fair. alongside Hammond. All right, yeah. Okay, wait, let's talk about Orisa then, because she falls into a bit of a weird spot. I don't know, it's like a passive aggressiveness. I'd, I'd say D tier. D tier? Okay, 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 I, I can live between... Uh, yeah, C or D, I feel like. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Right, wait, let's, let's designate the PMA fully positive player behind a certain character. What do you think? What would you Moira, say? maybe? No, Moira? Moira's a bad example of that. <laughs> Moira's like the I've got gold damage kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I think it's Lucio. Don't you think? Yeah, Lucio. Lucio is like... 100%. The, yeah, okay, we're throwing Lucio in there. Lucio players out there, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Ooh, so should we take a new one? Baptiste. I would say C or D. I yeah. don't think you could... You can't really run into too many situations where a Baptiste is toxic because the general sense is going to be if they complain... Most people are going to be like, well, we probably shouldn't have played Baptiste in that situation. That's the only scenario. Yeah, I to can... be fair. Okay, let, let's put him into D. It tends to be pretty pretty uh, quiet mm -hmm. as well a lot of the time, I feel like. Let's have a look at uh, maybe Symmetra. That's a pretty polarizing one. What do you think? So it's kind of a tricky one. I can't remember really my recent it's, experience. It's right down it's the middle. Game. Some Symmetra players will put their absolute all in to communicate and make sure it works. It's the same with Sombra, right? Where you have some players that communicate and talk and it's great to run with those players to try and make it work okay we'll do like c then yeah and i th i think it's more b because i think my experiences with symmetras tend to be more negative than positive but that's not to say that there aren't really good symmetra players to talk and communicate same with sombra the exact same with sombra uh, okay let's uh, let's take may because I th uh, yeah they tend to be pretty all right people what, what do you think I agree, because I feel like oh. when you lose a match with a May, the May never gets angry at other people. They're kind of like, okay. I probably shouldn't have played May then. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, like, they're the first to kind of go, yeah, that was probably my fault. All right. Uh, what's another one? You pick one. You pick You pick Aero. I think Sombra. I think okay, Sombra, Sombra would be A or B tier. Ooh, because okay, okay. A or she's B a very good hero in the right hands, but everything needs to be working in order for it to sort of manifest okay, the so, team, right? so you say the B tier here? I think B tier, yeah. All right, all right, let's do that then. You know what? I kind of want to upgrade McCree to an A slot at this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just that it doesn't feel correct. Okay, we're upgrading McCree. <laughs> he's a bit more toxic than the other ones. I mean, I feel like he's... I feel like a lot of Doomfist players are pretty toxic because it's a lot of uh, people that make Smurf accounts that want to play just Doomfist. Yeah. I'm down to throw this guy into the deep end of the S tier. What do you think? Yes, go for it. I, I was thinking maybe right, A tier, right. but then I remembered some of the stuff that <laughs> Chips has done in the past. So I'm like, let's bump it up to S tier. Like, he, he right. knows what he's doing. He's leading that hero into the S tier <laughs> okay, of yeah. our ranking. So. Right. Amazing. <laughs> like, we should talk about Genji, because I think Genji is one that way back when could have been in the S tier. But I feel now that Genji players are a lot more get their head down and get the job done. Yeah. So I think that he's like... B tier, C tier even. Like, I don't think Genji's are necessarily toxic. 
Wait, so what did you say? B tier? Because I, I think I'm B tier, down. yeah. I'm more down for B tier. Because they can be yeah, sometimes, right, right, but I think nice. over time they have learnt the harsh truths of life. We're giving the Genji players the benefit of the doubt here, kind of. Okay, Reinhardt. Right, so you, t you called us main tanks toxic before. I take offense in this. All right, so what, what do you have to back this up? Reinhardt's a weird one because I think that you'd need to have be mentally unhinged to want to play him at the moment i think is probably the best way to describe it like it's you need yeah. to be ready for a fight both against the enemy team but also with your own team if you want to put up with reinhardt because you need so much support of your tanks you need dps to focus the people that you want to focus now that you say it i think he definitely at least belongs in the b tier at least but maybe even a tier sometimes I think mm. A tier, but it's a very different kind of toxicity. I think it's more hating okay. life than hating you know, the rest of your team. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's toxic towards everyone, including yourself, for playing exactly. the character. All right, sure. Let's have a look. Okay, um, okay, Moira players. I mean, honestly, I'm almost ready to throw Moira players into the S tier. Uh, actually, I don't know. Ooh, a, -tier, a tier, I think. A tier? Okay, okay. Let's just settle on the A tier. All right. Metal chasing Moira thrown into the A tier. Okay, uh, let's uh, Yeah, you can pick another one. Which one? Let's do let's do Reaper. I think Reaper's A tier. Okay, just straight off the bat now. <laughs> okay, Reaper's A tier. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I certainly I think in lower ranks. Just... Yeah, I mean, all right, A tier. Sure, sure. You know what? No, no real uh, discussion there. Honestly, I I do agree. I want to say uh, about Roadhog. Definitely down here in the D and F tier, in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Again, it's one of those ones where if you, you do badly on Roadhog, you kind of sit there and go, I should have picked Diva or Zarya. Like, you kind of know they're picking Roadhog as the off tank. Yeah, Roadhog players tend to be pretty funny as well. Yeah, and, you know, Dr. Riku is a firm example of somebody that's incredibly chill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to throw him into the F tier or the D tier? D tier, I think. I, I think know. Lucio's on a new level of chill. Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. I would actually rate Junkrat fairly well here. I would almost put him in the in the sort of C tier. I think C tier is good. It needs filling out, so... Now, is there anyone left that you would like to put in the S or F tier out of the remaining five heroes here? Over a year ago, you would have said Tracer, just with how she was the pinnacle DPS hero. But oh, like the S tier? Yeah, but I think since the addition okay, of Brigitte, okay. she has been moved down, much like Genji. I think both of these heroes would have been incredibly toxic way back when. Yeah, but people have sympathy for them now. Yeah, exactly. Like, they've had to grow and understand that their time is over and that they, they, they need to make <laughs> do. It's so <it's> horrible. <laughs> they have to grow and understand that their time is over. Oh, no. Soldier 76. Honestly, I kind of want to throw a soldier into the A tier here. They think that they're AKM. And it's, yeah, never they, picked they them tend in a to be pretty, situation. you know, feel this feel kind of superior and like, you know. So yeah, I think yeah. Soldier's up there. I, I love the fact oh. that all of the hits scan. <laughs> like, I mean, there's something about it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, Torbjorn, what do you think? This is this might be a polarized because Torbjorn is often associated with, you know, oh, this guy's throwing, right? What was it, October? Yeah, October, I believe, or September, October, where they introduced a more new-ish Torbjorn. I think it's been pretty good. I yeah. think it's, I would even argue down in like the D tier sort of, sort of area. I would go that far. I think Maybe C, -tier. C tier. Yeah, C tier seems like the... What about Sunyata? Because uh, I think Sunyata players tend to be, well, hmm, they tend to be pretty chill, but there are some really toxic Sunyatas out there. You know who you are. Yeah, it's the whole Zarya approach of when you do well and your team isn't, then you can get quite toxic. But I don't yeah. think you can get as toxic as Zarya, so I'd say B tier. I, I would say B tier, yeah, because I was just going to say, looking at the heroes in there, Sinyala slots right in there. Farah, I mean, it's more of a passive-aggressive thing. Like, from watching people like Valkyrie, I think when you play Farah a lot and people get kind of like, it's not working, you tend to try harder, oh, okay. you make more mistakes, and then it just sort of... Let's just say the majority, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like, the majority of heroes <laughs> in this game are quite toxic. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I can agree with that. That's a, we're, we're, we're pretty horrible to each other. All right. Is there anyone who want to upgrade or downgrade on this list right now? I don't think so. I think it looks exactly where it should be. I just love that Lucio's on his own in the F tier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's like the only character that fits into it. I mean, I almost want to put Roadhog there, and then I almost want to upgrade uh, Moira to the S tier. Yeah, let's do it. Like, I feel kind <laughs> okay, of bad just putting all it. DPS in... <laughs> the S tier. Okay, we're putting Moira up there, 
And I mean, I I would say Roadhog belongs down here. Because Roadhog players, I met a lot of funny Roadhog players throughout the years, for sure. Roadhog players are pretty funny. All right, are you happy with this? I'm I think happy this with is pretty this. representative. All right, let us know if you're happy with this list as well. But yeah, that's been, uh, yeah, ranking the heroes of Overwatch based on how toxic players playing them tend to be. If anybody else has any other tier lists that they want us to do, then let us yes. know in the comments below because... <laughs> I, I doubt we'll do more of these, but just in case, I guess. All right, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.